It's a throwback to 1966, after the 24th February coup uh, that toppled the Nkrumah government. Well, we are, it's almost by divine uh, calculations that we have somebody who actually lived that uh, period, because uh, Mr. Kwame Jantua's father was the youngest minister of uh, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and so your father lost his job when this happened. Um, your brief experiences about this particular coup and what you heard from General Ankara. Thursday, the 24th of February, 1966, we lived in, at the time it was called Usu'ari. The soldiers came in around 5 a.m. in the morning. They woke all of us up. Lee fought my father out of bed in his pajamas and took him to Cantonment's police station. I was eight years old. After they took him, they came back to the house and you should have seen the gunfire around the house. They lined us all up. They stripped my mother naked. Yes, they stripped my mother naked. They ransacked the house. It was a sad day for an eight-year-old to experience. And the gunfire continued throughout the day. They smashed my father's official vehicle. They smashed this dining hall, sitting room things in there. And we stood at attention for nearly four to five hours whilst they were doing their things. And as they were doing that, they were insulting us. It, it was a dire period, a dire situation. And I didn't see my father till after 1972. Six years? Yes, six years. And you can imagine uh, a woman who is a housewife, has four children to take care of, hasn't worked in her life, and she was burdened with us. When did he take your father? Uh, when he went into protective custody, we didn't see him again. And then the, they, find, they found a way of implicating him and he was thrown in prison for five years. We didn't go to school for two whole years. We started wearing Bonewewu clothing and the only place my mother could take us to was back to Kumasi. It was a challenging time and please, nobody in this country should applaud coups. Nobody should applaud coups. That coup was the bloodiest coup in this country. And growing up, they banned a lot of things Nkrumah stood for. They banned his books. They banned so many things as if he was... I don't know how to describe it. But General, Champo, General Ankara indicates that... Um, no foreign power was part of this coup. You know when the Americans started plotting the 1960s coup? 1964, after the attempted assassination of President Nkrumah at Flagstaff House, when Comrade Salifu Dagati hmm, shielded him, and the next thing he heard gunshots and he got killed that was when they cited and pointed Ankara but from 64 65 Nkrumah was able to fish out General Ankara and General and he he, he made sure that he he, 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 he took their ranks off them. And the Americans then cited Ike Kutuka and General Frifa. And they struck the day Nkrumah left this country, as was said in the film. The bane of Ghana has been the 1966 coup. 
Because you see, a lot of things that Kwame Nkrumah did, even if we had left 5% of those things, Ghana would have been somewhere today.